Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Reverend Yan, founder of Evolving Enneagram. If you are looking for a compassion-based, contemplative approach to Enneagram inner work, you are in the right place. We are in the middle of a 52-week Sunday talk series on the book by Orrin J. Sofer, Your Heart Was Made for This. And the topic for today in this video is going to be the Enneagram and your energy. We're going to take a slightly different approach to energy, not looking at it so much from a, do you have enough or, you know, or do some people have too much energy, but more from the perspective of really uh, becoming attuned to where your energy goes and what it's used for. So maybe not coming from the perspective that you need more energy, but rather from the perspective that once you start to become more conscious of how you use your energy, you could better steward that resource. So ready? Let's begin. So I want to begin by reiterating this idea that what we'd like to focus on in these next two weeks isn't so much this idea of like, oh, how do I get more energy, right? As opposed to how do I become aware of how I already use my energy? That's a foundation, like a precursor to starting to engage in more uh, transformational uh, change work that will support you in living your life's fullest aspirations, right? So the idea isn't just acquiring more energy for its own sake. It's this idea that perhaps you're not actually as fully satisfied with your life if you're not using what life force you've been given in a way that uh, supports what you at least believe you want, right? That, that you feel called to, to, to show up as and to do. You know, do you have the energy to do what you're called to do, essentially? And so I want to just review the nine types today and how, how they relate to that. But I first want to share a quote from Sofer's book where he, he writes, wise attention, which we explored in chapter one a few weeks back, gives us another way to steward energy. Pay attention to patterns governing your life. He adds, the innovative movement teacher and author Moshe Feldenkraus beautifully expressed a fundamental principle of transformation. He wrote, you can't do what you want to do until you know what you're already doing. So you can't do what you want to do until you know what you're already doing. So I want to begin not by trying to effect change right away, but like, but invite you to notice in this upcoming week how you use your energy. Where does it go? So we've started to practice paying attention to our attention. So start to look at how your attention uses your energy. So even if you're not acting on it, that paying attention to it is a use of energy. And then notice additionally this week, how behaviorally you're expending a good amount of energy in a particular area of life. So that's something I really want you to consider. And then, okay, so here are some ideas from an Enneagram perspective. Again, going back to type one, we'll start with this idea that pay attention to how much energy you actually expend both, not just mentally, but also behaviorally, right? In fixing, improving, or correcting things. And so again, just like with your attention, uh, becoming aware of this, you start to see how much of your life force actually goes toward these activities in your day, right? So like, if that's true, um, what room do you have, right, for for other aspects of your aliveness. And then for twos, I wanna make it slightly different from the you know typical yes, of course, pay attention to your, how much time you and energy you expend in, um, in relationships. So this is thinking about relationships, but I think uh, the nuance I wanna offer this week is the energy you expend positioning yourself in your significant relationships. And then for the type three, uh, I'd like to invite you to consider how much energy you expend on creating value. And this could sound like being productive. It can sound like 
uh, living on purpose uh, because purpose can be tricky for a three. You know, as a three, I definitely feel called to live on purpose and I feel very fulfilled when I believe that I'm living my life purpose. But part of the issue in that is then there's something about purpose being often defined as something that is something that creates or adds value to the outer world, right? Um, I mean, it might also feel fulfilling to do, but what if you did something that didn't feel purposeful, right? Like, is there even any room for that? And so, but again, we're not necessarily adding that other piece yet. We're just looking at how much energy do you expend? Just notice how much attention you're paying to, whether it's at work or in relationships, to uh, being valuable to another, right? Or a group of others or to a system. So if you're a type four, pay attention to how much energy you expend in perpetuating a negative mood. You know, whether it's by listening to sad music or ruminating, comparing, and yeah, just, just again, best you can without judgment, without being harsh on yourself, without shaming yourself, focus on just, just notice during the week, like how much energy you actually expend toward that. So for type fives, pay attention to how much energy you expend in managing, this is kind of a, a, a subtle point here. It's almost like within yourself, you manage the output, right? Whether it's through energy, uh, through interactions or time or what you choose to share. So like a privacy issue. Um, and there's actually an expenditure of energy in order to create that wall, to close that off to keep it here and see if you can notice that energy. For type sixes, become aware of just how much time and energy you spend on making life safer or guarding against future harm. So for type sevens, uh, check out how much energy you expend trying to strategize or plan for future pleasure right? Type eights, notice how much energy you expend fighting things, being against. And then finally, type nines, uh, notice how much energy you use to push down anger inside of you, as well as push away from conflict or anger outside of you. You know, you there's this cliche that nines are lazy, but actually you are expending a tremendous amount of energy uh, toward pushing against conflict. So I know for some of you, you're like, well, I already know this about my number. You know, it's not like big news. I mean, for others, it could be like, oh, that's an interesting insight or nuance. Uh, the key here isn't even so much that... Uh, the suggestions I gave are particularly insightful. I think it's more that the lesson for you will be in the realization of your own personal allocation of energy with respect to these territories that can be um, uh, very much linked to your type, if you will. So. Looking, I'm looking forward to hearing what arises for you in the comments or otherwise. And again, next week, we have a little surprise with some special gifts. May you have all the energy in the world to do what is yours to do. Go for it. Bye.